Police say what started as a car break in led to a string of much more violent crimes in a South Austin neighborhood. Officers arrested a man in connection with those crimes, but not before they say he opened fire on several homes while people were inside sleeping. KXAN's Chris Sadegi shows us one bullet even hit and killed a family's dog. For six years, Josue Cartagena's yellow lab named Sally has helped protect his home. But when she limped home Sunday morning, something was obviously wrong. She was breathing really hard and we didn't know what was happening. We thought she got run over. We just saw blood. That night, police had received a call about a man beating on doors and trying to enter homes on Zachary Scott Street. And when neighbors came out to find cars broken into and other evidence, Josue realized Sally had not been run over. She'd been shot. There was shots going directly to the houses. Five cars were reported burglarized, some of them vandalized, and a gun was taken out of one of those vehicles, and police think that gun was used to litter these homes with bullets. One, two, and then there's that third one right here. The other two were here, uh, are here in this one. Josue's home had five bullet holes. The one next door had four, and police say the shooter was 22-year-old Marcus Wheel, who they think stole the gun from the glove compartment of this truck. In court documents, Wheel admitted to officers Sally tried to attack him, so he shot her too. She was taken to the vet, but Josue says the cost of saving her was too much for his family to bear. They, they gave us an estimate of like 7000 It got to an amount that we can't really afford. Wheel was arrested without a fight and faces six different charges for a burglary and shooting spree. Right now they're kind of scared, so they don't even want to step outside. Now they have one less friend to protect them. In South Austin, Chris Sadegi, KXAN News. The owner of the truck from which the gun was stolen told KXAN the gun and two magazines were locked away in the glove compartment. There is no law in Texas which prohibits a gun owner from leaving a firearm in their vehicle. Looking closer, thieves steal thousands of guns every year. Federal crime statistics show gun thefts make up 4% of all property crimes. The number added up to more than 145,000 guns stolen in 2010. Few people ever get their guns back. Around 80% of stolen guns never get recovered by their owners.